Hey, what's up, Fishaholics? Rich J here in my apartment in Providence, Rhode Island, and I've got a couple different things down here in front of me that I want to share with you guys that are available now on eBay.com and will be available for special giveaways on my YouTube channel, and also will be available, you know, on eBay.com for the, in the future months to come. And the first little item that I got down here in front of me is a small little bronze striped bass fish pendant that me and my father actually made by ourselves. You know, and a few years ago we made a, around 12 or so of them and we distributed them to our friends, family, and people we knew that basically loved the sport of striped bass fishing. And here's a closer look of this little striped bass pendant. Hopefully you can see the, uh, the great detail that was spent um, in this little tiny striped bass pendant. And me and my father actually, uh, you know, we designed it, we poured the metal, and, um, you know, and made these little pendants just kind of for fun. Uh, my father is a retired foundryman and, uh, you know, kind of just found himself bored. So, um, you, know, and I, you know, and I was bored at the time too. I think, you know, I was in high school. So, uh, you know, we just wanted something to do probably in the winter. And, um, you know, I, would I have three left in stock. And if you click the top right corner of the video, you can be taken to ebay.com where they're available for sale. And you can get a little bit closer look at the detail um, in the pictures of the little striped bass pendants. And I would love to give them, give them away because I want to give back to my subscribers. And uh, I will get to a giveaway that I'm soon going to be hosting on my YouTube channel later in, the, later in this video. But um, I only have three left in stock. And I will actually have four. But uh, one I'm keeping for myself that I wear as a necklace occasionally. And, um, you know, I only have three, though, right now that I kind of want to get out there and, um, you know, and hear from you guys. So if you purchase one, I want to hear from you guys. Do you like it? And uh, do you want to see more of them? Or if you're thinking right now as you're watching this video, you would like to see like a tuna one or a smallmouth bass or, you know, another species pendant. Um, you know, me and my dad were brainstorming and thinking that would be a possibility that we were going to create a bunch of, um, you know, different species of these bronze striped bass pendants and maybe even get it and maybe even tamper into gold or, and silver because my dad, you know, works with that metal a lot as well. And, um, you know, let me know what you guys think by posting in the comment section below again, you know, what species you would like to see or if you uh, definitely think you're interested in, uh, in purchasing one of these. But again, like I said, you can click the top right link of the video and there's three available on eBay right now. And, um, you know, I'm a little tight on money, so that's another reason why I'm trying to sell, sell them. Uh, if you're a high schooler or, or, or going to be going into college soon, uh, I have one recommendation for you don't live on campus. Uh, they might make it mandatory freshman year, but try to uh, move, you know, move off campus after freshman year because uh, I, I lived off campus last year and saved a ton of money. This year I'm living on campus and um, you know, it's, it's very convenient, but I'm spending a lot more money and um, I'm regretting it right now. And I'm trying to get home on the 24th for my mother's birthday, but as well so I can get home and film a really good 24 hour kayak fishing challenge where I'm going to be fishing Round Valley Reservoir I plan and then heading south and hitting the Jersey Shore and going for stripers and bluefish and um, you know and I'm going to try and do that all in 24 hours that's going to be pretty exciting and cool. But let's get to the next item or items that I wanted to share with you guys and this is basically the Fishaholic Twisty Tube which I've been wanting to share with you guys for a really long time but you know really wasn't close enough to start selling them or doing special giveaways and now I am you know hopefully in the months to come so I wanted to definitely share with you guys and inform you that they're going to be coming out and they're going to be available to purchase and uh, the Twisty Tube basically is just a trolling tube that um, I designed you know and field tested fishing off Montauk and uh, let me start off with a short story but basically back when I was 12 or 13 I'm 21 now and uh, you know, for my entire life, I've pretty much been fishing in Montauk, you know, throughout the entire su summer for you know every month for at least a week or two weeks, and then also in the fall as well. And I was always surrounded by some of the big name captains out in Montauk, New York, you know, that always made their own trolling tubes. And um, you know, it was a hot summer day one day, and I just got my new you know Ocean Frenzy kayak, and it was an orange nine foot kayak. And uh, I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. I was always, uh, you know, I took that kayak everywhere to, uh, you know, to catch bass, you know, small bluefish, stripers, and shallow inshore areas. But one day, I, you know, it was a hot summer day, like I said, and I wanted to get out, and I wanted to get out into deeper water to try and catch bigger striped bass that, you know, summer over in Montauk, you know, Montauk waters. And you know, I went to I went to a tackle shop out in Montauk, New York, and bought a bunch of store brought uh, store brands. Of, of you know trolling tubes and I took them out in my kayak and I was trolling around off Montauk Lighthouse and I really never had much success. I caught a bunch of bluefish, didn't catch any stripers, and I thought to myself, I was like, why do a lot of the big name captains create and make their own you know trolling tubes? There must be some features that you know some store bought brands don't really have 
for, you know, to give them the reason to make their own. Or it also might be cheaper too as well. So I was like, you know, I wanted to save money. I wanted to catch more fish. So I went to a tackle shop and I bought all the components that I thought were necessary to create my own, you know, trolling tube. And that day, or the day after the first day I took my kayak off Montauk Lighthouse, I designed my, my first trolling tube. I took, it, I took it out fishing off Montauk Lighthouse the next day, and I killed them. I caught you know, big stripers, small stripers in my little ocean kayak, and I like, hammered the bluefish, and I was like, you know, I was onto something here. And you know, initially I was like, oh, wait, wait, you know, I'm a kid, maybe I can start selling these, make a few dollars, and you know, do something with them. But, I, but in reality, I really wasn't ready to do that, you know, the, you know, my first model that I made was really just kind of, you know, it was really a crappy, you know, just kind of thrown together model. So every year, basically, since I was 12 or 13, I kind of tinkered with the original model and 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 progressed it and changed the features until I finally came to a finished product that I have today. You know, many years later, now that I'm 21. And um, I actually had this very similar model done last year, but I changed it slightly in the way that I dye it, um, you, know, you know, dye the latex tubing. And um, I'm, I'm happy that I didn't start selling them last year. Or I didn't try and do giveaways last year because now, you know, these, these fish catching machines are, you know, ready for you guys to take them out and catch some nice fish. And I specifically designed them for kayak or boat fishing. You know, obviously they're trolling tubes, so for trolling. But I also do have a, um, a smaller version for casting in inshore, inshore areas for, um, you know, for stripers that are feeding on sand eels. It's a, it's a small little version. Um, you'll see it in a second in a small little clip, um, an underwater clip of it swimming. And um, it's a really nice casting, casting tube that straight up catches big striped bass when they're feeding on sand eels. And it's a really good uh, cast uh, lure to fish at night for stripers that are feeding on sand eels. But anyways, the versions that I have here in my hand is the 16 inch version and the 20 inch version. And I also have a 10 inch version and then as well as the casting tube, which I plan on putting together and distributing via you know, eBay.com and as well as give away, special giveaways on my YouTube channel. And these tubes I pretty much make myself. I actually designed the packaging like you see right here in front of me last year. And then on the back it shows you know, the description on how to fish the product. And I, just, I assemble these, these tubes myself. Um, I make the, the lead head. It kind of is like an eel-like head. I make that myself as well. I buy the barrel swivels, I, bar, I buy the sharp gamagatsu hooks, I buy the wire, I buy the latex, and then I actually assemble everything and then I dye the tube, the red, I dye the green, I make the dye myself. And um, you know, these tubes just straight up catch fish and you can, you can, you can see their fishability and their catchability um, in the two videos here in the top right corner of the video. One of the, video, I'm at, one of the videos I'm out off Montauk Lighthouse uh, fishing by myself, catching some really big uh, striped bass um, with these tubes, but then as well as I guide my friend who got, got his new Hobie kayak, and uh, that day I only catch a few bluefish, but I, I was luckily, you know, lucky enough to put him into you know, some of the biggest bass that he's ever caught in his entire life, and you can check out those videos to see the fishability and catchability of the twisty tube. And um, if you check out this quick clip here, you can see the, the action that the twisty tube has swimming under the water and as well as the casting twisty tube compared to you know another another store brought bought competitive brand and the twisty tube just has really great swimming action when fished in, you know in the water you can fish at really slow speeds you control at really fast speeds and the wire that i you know threaded through here is a double overed wire but the wire is kind of um, very flexible. It's not too heavy. It's not too light, and you can bend it in a way so it holds its position. Because there are many brands out there now that you basically wrap it around your arm and it forms to whichever way you want it. And actually, when I first designed the Twisty Tube, that was the way that my Twisty Tubes were. They were really light and flexible, and you could bend it in whichever way you wanted in, um, in order for it to swim. But the problem with that, after fishing with it for many years, is I discovered that. When you have a bluefish and you're trolling this, a bluefish comes up and nails that. He can nail it here, he can nail it there. He's going to bend that and then that tube isn't swimming right. You're going to have to reel it in, you're going to have to make sure it looks good, and you're going to have to re-bend it to make, to make sure that tube swims through the water properly. I, on the other hand, made it a little bit more flexible in the head, but then as well made it slightly stiff enough that if a bluefish comes up and hits this or a bass comes up and, and is on for a second and gets off, that that tube is going to hold its shape 
and is going to continue to swim so you won't have to reel, in, reel, reel that tube in and reset the way that you want it to swim. This tube basically will catch hundreds of fish you know, the same way that it's bent so that you will never really have to change the, the way that it is and it will straight up always catch fish. But, uh, but it will, you know, eventually it will straighten out a little bit, but then with a quick little bend, you know, it's ready for, you know, swimming and catching stripers, you know, from a boat or a kayak, or if you buy the casting tube from casting from the shoreline. And like I said, you know, these, they're going to be available on ebay.com coming this month, and they are, uh, you know, I'm hoping to, going to be doing some special giveaways. And you know, one lucky angler is going to have a chance to win a bunch of these different models and and different colors of the twisty tube. But then, as well, if you don't win the twi uh, win win the giveaway, then you're going to have an opportunity to purchase them on eBay.com. And then, as well, take them fishing. And then every month, I'm hopefully going to be having a contest where whoever enters the biggest fish caught on a twisty tube will, uh, will win a special prize at the end of the month. And I'm hoping to do that throughout the entire summer and fall, or throughout the entire rest of the season which is going to be awesome for you guys to, you know, have an opportunity to take these lures fishing and catch some really big striped bass. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and, um, you know, hopefully there's going to be more, more of these videos co um, coming along the way. And, um, you know, please again, check out the striped bass pendants if you're interested by clicking the top right corner of the video to be taken to ebay.com to check out the, uh, the striped bass pendant. And, um, you know, I want to hear some feedback. Are you guys excited and interested about these trolling tubes and looking forward to seeing them? And, um, you know, who's excited about striper fishing? I know I am this year. It's coming. It's here. You know, people down in, you know, a lot of fishermen down in Jersey are catching them really good. I'm hopefully going to be he heading down to Jersey in, in the end of April to do a 24-hour kayak fishing challenge video. And, um, you know, there's not many strikers right now up here in Rhode Island, so I'm really stuck on freshwater fishing, so I really have to kind of commute and go somewhere else. But um, anyways, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you know when I post future videos. And like I said, if you have any questions, post a comment in the comment section below or look in the description below so you can find any more information about uh, the products that I have here in this video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys out in the water. And always, never, never forget, fish to live, live to fish. I'll see you guys later.